Hey everyone, so a few months ago I was having some problems with my Hypertherm Powermax 30 plasma cutter and I put together a video on, on that and what it ended up being was some of the air hose in this uh, torch lead was twisted up and so I got in there and, and repaired that and since then the unit's been working perfectly just like it did when it was brand new. Um, I fired it up the other day and as you can probably hear a little bit of an air leak. Um, as you can see, there's a there's a built-in filter in in these units, and as water collects in here, it eventually drains out of this tube. And what I noticed the other day when I turned it on is this this air leak. And if you actually put your finger underneath where that tube drains, you can feel the air coming out. So I suspect that. There's something going on here with this filter. Either the check valve in there has gone bad, or there's a piece of debris in there that's holding it open. So I'm gonna first try to take it all apart and see if I can clean it up. If not, then I guess I'm just gonna have to get a hold of uh, Hypertherm and replace this uh, filter. Now, you can replace the entire uh, filter assembly. I also think there's a way that you can just get the parts for the pieces that you need. So I need to look into that. Uh, something to note here, though, is that even though it's making uh, a little bit of noise, uh, it still works. It still works just like it should. Um, I didn't have any problems cutting with it, but that is just a little bit annoying that, that it air's leaking and it shouldn't. So I'm going to take her apart and see if I can get it cleaned up and work it again. All right, so I disconnected the air just because it was getting a little bit annoying hearing that leak. So um, as I mentioned Previously, I'm going to go ahead and take it apart and see if I can clean it up without having to replace anything. Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my air regulator off the back side here. Um, pretty straightforward. It's pretty self-explanatory. We'll uh, take this air hose, this air line out of here. Uh, we'll disconnect this sensor. I believe this is an air sensor just to tell the unit that the air is connected to the cutter. Um, we've got a we've got a ground here that we've got a we've got a take apart as well. So, um, and then we'll just kind of take the fittings apart um, at each location and we'll take this red lock nut off of here and then we should be able to lift the filter unit right out and then I'll disassemble it and see if we can get it working again. So I got the air filter out of the, the unit. Uh, just basically pulled it right out. Uh, it wasn't a big deal. Uh, again, I just uh, disconnected this little bracket here that is a T15 torch driver screw. And you don't have to take it all the way out. It's basically a little clamp that, that fits around this brass block here. Um, and then I disconnected the, the two wires uh, to the sensor. Again, I think that sensor is uh, for um, air, air, basically air pressure sensor. And then from there, I was able to actually remove it all as one unit. Of course, disconnected the drain tube here. Um, the one thing that you may have to just kind of pay attention to is this particular arm, this brass fitting here, uh, sticks sticks through this um, hole here where my finger's coming through. Um, and it seems like it's wedged in there and it won't come apart. All now you have to do is just take the top panel here, this end panel, and open it up just a little bit and then that'll allow you to, to wiggle this out. So um, I guess the next step here is I'm just gonna go ahead and start tearing it apart. All right, so I got this air filter out of the plasma cutter and I've disassembled it and it didn't really look like there was anything clogging it up. So I went ahead and put it all back together. I, I blew it out real well just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. There were a couple of little particles in there, but nothing that I think would have caused the valve from, from shutting. So anyway, um, I put it all back together. I stuck it back into the unit, connected some air and it was still leaking air. What I discovered, and I, you can't see it because I've removed it, but there's a brass fitting at the very end of this uh, bowl here, and that's what connects to the drain tube. So I pulled that out of there, and I started to fill around, and even though it seemed like it was coming um, out of the, basically out of the, the exit here, the port, it was actually coming out of a crack in the side of the bowl. So. After doing a little bit of research, I've discovered that it's not uncommon for these bowls to crack over time. 
um, especially if you're running them at the wrong PSI. I stay within the factory recommendations, I think like 65 to 80 PSI on this unit. So I don't feel like I was abusing it in terms of the air pressure. So anyway, yeah, there was a really, really small crack in this, in this bowl here that was causing almost like a pinhole leak and the air was just jetting out of it. So uh, I don't know if you can tell from in the video here, but I've actually put a pretty good bead of epoxy all the way around, hoping that maybe I can seal that leak up um, with the understanding that it's gonna be a temporary fix. So uh, for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back in there, see if it stops the leak. Uh, as I'd mentioned earlier, the unit was still working even with the leak. The plasma cutter was working just fine. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to see if this little temporary fix here with the epoxy did the trick. And um, what I'll do then from here is I'm going to actually order this bowl. You can order just the bowl. You don't have to order the whole assembly. You'll get the bowl and the valve that's inside of here. Uh, as a point of reference, that's Hypertherm part number 428246, and I've already researched it, and they are available from various uh, vendors out there, including Amazon, anywhere from $25 to $35 for this piece. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put it back together, uh, but I am going to order a replacement bowl, um, which, you know, I'll use Amazon with Amazon Prime. I should have it here in, you know, about two or three days tops. So let me get this put back in and see if the epoxy at least is going to fix it for now. So my epoxy fix did not work. Um, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it is still leaking air. Uh, so I guess the next step here is just to replace that bowl and hope that that does the trick. Um, because it should be, it should be working and uh, for some reason it is uh, still leaking so my guess is that it still has that pinhole crack um, right down there where that brass fitting goes in so again i'm just going to get the um the new parts ordered install them and hopefully that will be the end of the problem here all right everyone so yeah i'm finally getting back around to working on this uh, plasma cutter uh, my hypertherm paramax 30. i've uh, been having some problems with the air filter bowl leaking air and I tried a couple of quick fixes uh, I tried to actually run some epoxy around the bottom of the bowl where it was leaking uh, to no avail so uh, a lot of guys actually just replace that whole regulator yeah the, fil the filter I should say uh, but there's really no need to do that if this is indeed the problem just the bowl they do make a replacement and I have it right here uh, so it should be basically a, a plug and play, should be a pretty easy fix. I actually got that on Amazon. I can't remember how much it was. It wasn't ridiculous. It was maybe 25, 30 bucks on Amazon. I think this might be the part number uh, 428246. Uh, so anyway, it comes just basically with, uh, with the bowl and a new O-ring if you need it. It also comes with uh, some instructions for installations but it's pretty straightforward and um, so yep I've got it sitting here and so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that bowl the one thing it says in the instructions is just make sure that you inspect uh, the o-ring that's in the unit already so once I once I get the bowl off I'll look up inside of here into the reg uh, I keep wanting to call it a regulator but uh, look up into here into the uh, filter and make sure that the o-ring's not damaged if it is um, they want you to use the new one which you know makes sense I'll probably just go ahead and use the new one anyway since I've got it so anyway I'm gonna get this all put together um, and uh, test it out and hopefully that's gonna fix that minor air leak that I have okay so I'm back uh, with the plasma cutter here it took me literally uh, about two minutes to uh, get it all put back together and, and get that new bowl put onto the unit uh, it probably took me longer just to kind of finagle getting that filter back into that tight spot there you'll have to pull this um, end cover out just a little bit to give you some room to wiggle it in there uh, but it's super easy fix uh, I actually have um, 
let's see here, about 50 pounds of air pressure on it right now just for the purposes of checking it. So I've got air to the unit and you can, you can tell here uh, that, you, uh, that there's, no, there's no air leak. You can't hear any air anymore. So it looks like that did the trick, just basically replacing that bowl. So I'm glad, one, I didn't have to replace the entire air filter. And then of course, uh, it's never a good thing if you've got to replace the entire plasma cutter. So uh, anyway, gonna get this all put back together. I've got the cover still sitting back here with the handle and the two screws. They'll just slide right over the top here and uh, we should be good to go. So this thing's all fixed. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, if you haven't seen my other video that talked about uh, the kink in the airline that runs down to the end of the torch, uh, preventing the plasma cutter from actually working, check that out. It's actually a really easy fix as well. Uh, I thought I was going to be faced with uh, some serious repairs or even replacing the unit. Uh, talked to the technical team. They walked me through how to get that fixed. So if you're having a problem with your plasma cutter, um, not getting any air, uh, it could possibly be because that, that line's kink. So check out that video um, if you think it would be helpful.